Even for teams very skilled at dealing with obstetric emergencies, managing them in women with confirmed or suspected COVID-19 presents extra challenges. These include considering methods of calling for help, ensuring no one attends the woman without appropriate PPE, making sure the most skilled team members get to the woman first, using teamwork to speed up the donning of PPE, grab bags to get the right treatment started early, communication issues due to masks and visors, which may be helped through the use of treatment algorithms, and acknowledging that this may be a stressful time for the woman and helping alleviate her fears, and also planning the logistics of transfers. Here, a woman with suspected COVID-19 has just given birth, and the midwife discovers that a significant postpartum hemorrhage has occurred. The midwife ensures that mother and baby are safe and needs to call for help. Getting the right help in a timely fashion needs to be done in the context of infection control. Emergency buzzers, 222 calls, phone calls, walkie-talkies and intercoms have all been successfully used, but all have their pros and cons. So see what works on your unit, refine the system through testing, and then train your teams in its use. In this situation, the midwife pulls the emergency buzzer. The team responding have been trained and known not to enter the room without PPE. The first responder ascertains the nature of the emergency, in this case, postpartum hemorrhage, and she confirms this with closed loop communication. She can now explain the nature of the emergency to the incoming team. This allows the team to don the appropriate PPE for this emergency. It also allows the team to know which member should be prioritized to don PPE and enter the room first. The priority team member depends on the emergency. As this is an obstetric emergency, the most senior obstetrician has assumed leadership. She allocates tasks to the rest of the team, including retrieval of emergency equipment and the donning priority. Having someone designated to help the rest of the team don PPE first means the senior responders can start definitive management more quickly. Simulations done in Leeds University hospitals have reduced response times by one to two minutes by doing this. Single-use emergency grab bags can overcome the issues of wasting emergency equipment, as would happen if emergency boxes or emergency trolleys were brought into a room contaminated with coronavirus. The grab bag should contain the leanest equipment needed, plus a treatment algorithm, and be replaced after each use. PPE makes communication challenging. Teams should concentrate on being clear and succinct. SBAR handover is an effective way of doing this. Closed loop communication allows team members to know that instructions have been heard and understood, thereby closing the communication loop. Treatment algorithms are powerful tools to ensure prompt treatment, clear communication and improved situational awareness. Even a junior team member can work through the algorithm, ensuring the team completes all the management steps. Meow's charts can also help the team track the woman's severity of illness and her response to their treatment. Obstetric emergencies can be daunting for the woman and her partner. This can be exacerbated by teams wearing PPE. Keeping calm and keeping the woman and her partner informed can help alleviate this. Transfers, such as to theatre, are more complex owing to infection control considerations. Units should carefully consider the logistics so that when a transfer is needed, the woman and all the necessary teams and equipment can converge on the destination smoothly. Use multi-professional walkthroughs and simulations to refine and test the system and then train your staff in its use. Correct doffing is vital for infection control. At the end of the patient episode, before leaving the room or theatre, doff gloves, gown, apron and visor. For performing hand hygiene and then exiting to doff the face mask, before washing your hands with soap and water. For easily digestible, up-to-date information on managing confirmed or suspected COVID-19 women, visit our website or email us for our latest COVID-19 newsletter.